in Sapporo, Japan. Um, court says Japan's ban on same-sex marriage is unconstitutional. On March 17th, the Sapporo uh, District Court in Japan ruled that the government's ban on gay marriage is unconstitutional. This decision is considered monumental as Japan is the only G7 nation that does not fully legally recognize same-sex partnership. The court found that making same-sex marriage illegal violates Article 14 of the Japanese Constitution, which uh, prohibiting discrimination due to race, creed, sex, social status, or family origin. On Valentine's Day 2019, 13 couples filed lawsuits in Sapporo, Tokyo, uh, uh, Osaka, and uh, Nagoya, followed by three more in uh, Fukuoka, uh, several months later. Kanoko Otiji, an openly gay opposition party member, ex uh, expressed herself via Twitter, saying that she urges the legislator to, quote, deliberate a proposed amendment to the civil code to make same-sex marriage possible. In January, a coalition of 116 groups insisted that Yoshihide Sh uh, Suga, Japanese prime minister, introduce a national LGBT anti-discrimination policy before the Tokyo Olympics that are scheduled to begin this summer. Yay, and also boo! It's 2021, and this is how long it took you to get here? Like, what I, It's always such a party poop when you do that. I'm it's happy Japan. for this. It's Japan. Yeah, I'm happy, but also, what took you so long? Yes, congratulations, and also, what the hell? Can, can I not do that at the same time? Is that not okay? Can Katie's not so be... cute. She's like, Gambate! <laughs> okay, I have a question. I have a question. Why on earth would Japan have any, like a country that is not Christian, Muslim, Hindu, why on earth would a country like Japan, which is supposed to be like modern and advanced and enlightened and everything, like the second, well, third now, largest economy in the goddamn planet, have a ban on same-sex marriage until until now? Actually, What's the Armin, they are they were enlightened and ahead of a lot of people in the fact that gay sex having the act of sex between um two partners of the same sex has been legal in japan since 1880 so mm. then that was very enlightened compared to so many other countries including western countries that have made the actual act itself illegal and some of those laws are still on the books so now, yeah, I mean, it seems like they would move into the 21st century with a little more ease and faster since they seem to be ahead in some other ways. But if you actually look at what the mindset of a lot of people were in the 19th century, the fact that that was at least legal. Now, granted, that doesn't mean there wasn't discrimination or there wasn't a societal coercion to not talk about it, mention it, or engage in it. But the fact that it was has been legal since 1880 is actually, for that time period, more enlightened than a lot of Western countries. Hey guys, before we get back to that video, YouTube has fully demonetized our channel for supposedly hateful and harmful conduct um, without telling us what we did wrong. Um, if we get to 1,000 patrons, we will be able to keep paying all our team, our editors, our artists, without ever having to worry about monetization again, which would be amazing. Yay! So please support Atheist Republic on Patreon. Link in the description below. Um, so Katie is bringing up a good point. We were to go saying it's ironic how the Japanese ruling party is called the Liberal Democratic Party or LDP, but in reality they are a conservative monarchist party. So like Japan is very technologically advanced, but there are still a lot of ways in which Japan can be very socially conservative. Um, not in all ways, but in some ways. Um, 
So just for more context, since 2015, certain Japanese municipalities have issued partnership certificates to gay and lesbian couples. However, these do not confer legal status equivalent to marriage, and, uh, but they allowed for shared rental agreements and hospital rights. Um, but same-sex marriage, uh, same-sex couples couldn't inherit their partner's assets, for example, or assume paternal rights of their partner's children. Um, and also, it's important to note that this ruling alone will not prompt any changes in government policy. Um, a new law would have to be introduced to then legalize same-sex marriage. And I thought it was interesting because um, the, uh, analysts are saying that the law that was previously the barrier, um, one of the barriers in this fight for same-sex marriage was that um, that the so the lawyers who won this decision say argue that the text of Japan's constitution was intended to prevent forced marriages rather than explicitly prohibited same sex marriage, which I thought was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what is the source of these ideas of these conservative ideas? Is it like music guy is saying Christian influence? Is that the case? I mean, there was a little bit of christian influence uh, japan was an uh, isolationist empire for like or nation for a really long time um so i studied imperial japan a little bit in high school so like i'm super rusty on this um uh oh Kimberly has a very important point well i don't think tentacle porn is the norm hey. i think that's kind of a stereotype I don't There's, think you should. I think I think Susie, you take things a little bit more seriously than they're intended to be. I, I do do that. Um, yeah. Katie's saying Shinto religion doesn't have anything against homosexuality. Apparently, from what I have read, Japan started uh, becoming intolerant towards homosexuality during the Meiji period, re Meiji Restoration, mm. and basically when the West was against homosexuality, and Japan wanted to be more like the West. Uh, so when they so start it's, it is indirectly Christian. It's Christianity again. It's religion. I, I also think it has to do with a bit of like honor culture, basically. So, and this Which is my understanding religion. of like the social conservatism. Like um, mm -hmm. AGA is saying Japan's honor culture is pretty strict when it comes to within, within one's family. Suicide is considered honorable and would restore honor to a family that's been dishonored by an individual. I mean, I don't know how common that is still to this day, but that was definitely... Um, uh, things that happened. Um, uh, Katie is saying, interesting that there is a term for exclusively gay men in Japanese, uh, onigirai, which translates to women hater. The hell? Interesting. Yes. And see, I am really, you are too serious. I am. <laughs> it's okay. um, um, all right. Also, just a little self congrats. I think my, uh, like I, I still know my Japanese. I think I did a pretty good job on pronouncing those names. Oh yeah. Well, my Japanese is so bad that I don't know how good you were. Yeah, you're like what? But yeah. the people who know, know. how was it? <laughs> yeah. At least it's not French because you can never <sighs> satisfy people. I, yeah, well, I, this is why I hate French. Um, <laughs> so congratulations, Japan. I hope that this um, more people will be writing up new laws to introduce right away. So hopefully they will pass and be enacted in law. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Kali, you know, like me, and that means that you probably want more blasphemous art. Well, I have good news for you. If you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below, then you get a free booklet of some of the tastiest blasphemous art available today. So if you want some of this delicious blasphemy, and we're so generous that we update it for you guys weekly for free, all you have to do is sign up for our newsletter below. Uh, you can also go to blasphemousart.com slash ebook. That's blasphemousart.com slash ebook. Sign up with your email and you get free gifts of this tasty blasphemy. What could be better? So make sure you sign up. Link below.